So I was sitting in my room, bored as hell. I was trying to record a video, maybe try to be productive, you know. I just hours tick by one by one. It's it's now nine o'clock, and I haven't recorded anything. I just spent my time going through social media, doing nothing, wasting my time. I don't even know what to record. I have no ideas. What am I supposed to do? I look around. I try to get inspired, but I keep going back to YouTube, looking how other people are doing their videos. And then I keep overthinking. I keep, I get anxious. I get worried. Why can't I just go record videos? Why can't I do stuff? I overthink. I get anxious. And then I have this idea. I just leave my troubles behind at home. I turn my PC off. I walk outside, put on my shoes, leave my phone at home, and just take a walk. I go down the community trail, go for a walk, and I'm going on this walk. I'm still worried in my head, but I just try to relax. I say, everything's all right. You don't have to worry about anything. Stop caring so much. I keep walking. And it's relaxing. I see the nature. I, it, the sun's bright in my eyes. It's so nice to be outside once again. And then that anxiety and everything just seems to go away. I feel so free. I, all the pressures of life gone. The sun is increasing my mood substantially. My thoughts. And I'm just, I get this time to myself to think through my problems. Why am I recording? And it's... I come back, my problem solved, and I spend the rest of that day recording, making good YouTube videos, doing challenges, like how I enjoy doing. And that's the story of why you should go outside. First off, I want to bring up one point. So, going outside is so important. You should go outside as much as you can. First thing in the morning, in fact, you should go out and get sunlight. That's super essential. Get sunlight first thing in the morning. It's so good for you. I think it's Andrew Huberman who talked about this first, who first brought up in his podcast how important it is for us to get sunlight, how important essential sunlight is. He brought up as one of his five things that there's no replacement for, sunlight being one of them. And sunlight's important, but it's even more important for you to get it first in the morning, for it to set your circadian rhythm and to get you prime for the day. Sunlight... It's good for one, a few reasons. First off, it increases your mood substantially. I can, I realize it personally. Personally, when I, when I'm at school all day and it's, I'm in a bright ass classroom, and it, but it's raining outside, I feel like shit. But like, it could. Be <laughs> so sunlight is important. It, there's no replacement for it. You can't be in a bright lit room. I'm inside all day in a classroom. With a, bright lit room there's no replacement for sunlight and even seeing sunlight through the window that's still not a replacement because the windows they block out the the like rays and it's not gonna hit you as well seeing the sun through a window there's no replacement for it you have to actually go outside and get sunlight it is so important for you every aspect of your mental and physical health can be benefited by sunlight I'm telling you this Sunlight is so, so important. Okay, another aspect of going outside that I've really found helpful, the part of going outside, is the aspect of actually movement, getting to walk around, getting to maybe ride your bike around in the outside, in the street, getting movement. Why is this essential? It's for a few reasons. Of course, it's important to get exercise, but if you're having a tough time, you're struggling, you have some pent-up emotion, some pent-up negative emotion. Maybe you're anxious, maybe you're overthinking about something. Some physical activity is definitely going to help, especially walking. You see these geniuses going on these long walks. They have, like, genius meetings walking. I don't know where I heard that. I think it was from somebody, Jim Quick. But, yeah, these super smart people, they go on walks, and... Walking, it stimulates the same part of your brain that is responsible for problem solving. You know, you're navigating around the block, maybe doing your usual route you do for your walk 
or down a trail, and that's going to stimulate the part of your mind responsible for problem solving. Going to help you solve that problem. Why are you not recording today? What's the going? What's that problem? What are you? What's the negative emotion that's holding you back? All these little problems we have that we overthink a hell out of. It's good to step back, go on a walk, and just think about it. That's what personally has helped me and what can help so many of you other guys. Walking and going outside is so important. Recently, I deleted social media I and then reinstalled it, but now I'm deleting again because I realized something that's taking a toll on my mental health. Having all this access to social media and all this information really messes with your brain. You know, we can't concentrate and have focus when we have our phones on us all the time. We're always wondering, like, how many likes our post is getting, who's texting you on Snapchat. We have all these distractions and all this information being fed on our phones, and it's taking up space in the background of our heads. It's taking up space in your subconscious, and it's like inhibiting your ability to focus. Nobody these days wants to be alone. They always want to be around the noise, be around the people, be around somebody talking. Nobody wants to be alone to take the time to be with themselves. You know, there's just saying, I think, all of man's emo- all of man's problems stems from all of man's problems stems from their inability to be alone in a room by themselves. You know, the the most important conversation you're ever going to have in your life is the one with yourself. And we always try to avoid being alone by ourselves. We always try to just scroll on our phone to distract ourselves from our problems and actually talking with ourselves, thinking things through, and solving them. Because it's hard. We don't want to think about our lives. We have all these stresses and things going on. All the things we have, all the reasons we have that we're not adequate. But it's important to go into that dark room, to go talk with yourself, to be alone, go on a walk and be in nature. That's one of the, it's one of the escapes we have in our life. Most people, the only times they're actually alone and not constantly bombarded by stimulation and social media is when they're working out when they're at the gym. You need to get more of this time to yourself. And a good way to do that is going outside. Being alone by yourself, thinking. The, the way you're going to find out your purpose is by being alone and being by yourself. You can't think for yourself. You can't think through, what do I want to do with my life? What, what direction should I go in? When you're constantly distracted by everything going on in the average human's life. So you need to take some time for yourself, meditate on it, think, and I promise things will get better. Now, I'm not trying to roast on you guys and say, you're so bad for like doing all this stuff, going on Instagram and being distracted, because everybody does it. Admittedly, I do it too. It's the way you were raised. You grew up this way, and it's not your fault entirely. It's not your fault. No one ever said it was. But it is going to be your responsibility, and you are going to be responsible for changing that and taking action. You know, we we live in this world, and, yeah. (laughs) Social media is always going to be around. We're always going to get distractions. There's all you're always going to have your phone on you, and, and social media is always going to be a choice. But it's going to be your choice to avoid it and to maybe delete those apps off your phone. Have your phone work for you instead of you working for your phone. You know, there's a lot of things people do. I heard people put their phone on, like, gray screen. They have a bunch of these settings. They turn off notifications, all this stuff. And, yeah, I I envy these people (laughs) because I can't do that. I'm always... I'm always trying to upload content to produce content to do stuff on my phone. And I can't just... It's hard for me to keep social media off my phone because I keep, like, re-downloading it to maybe post something on Instagram, post something on my YouTube, do a community post. And it's it's hard. (laughs) So it's always going to be there. And you're never going to be entirely free. 
but once you have this mindset instilled in your head and once you can think for yourself freely away from these apps so my hope for you is that you will spend more time outside and less time with the modern distractions we have always Always pent up on some project, some homework, some girl, some night out with your friends. Take some time for yourself. Go outside, be in nature, and it will help.